Welcome to Gold Derby. I'm senior editor Denton Davidson here with Emmy nominees Charlene Lee and Claire Coons, casting directors for the limited series Beef on Netflix. Wow. What a hit this turned out to be. 13 Emmy nominations, including Best Limited Series. What was your reaction that morning when the nominations came out? And how did you hear the news? How proud are you of the series? And just to be part of this. <laughs> well, when I tell you, we we screamed. We screamed more than a little bit when we saw those nominations. Were you together? <laughs> No, unfortunately, we were not. Go ahead, Jai. Um, we were not together. We were obviously very ex excited for the entire show and for the um, the uh, for in actors, all the actors who were nominated in their respective categories as well. Yeah, and then you sort of have to of scroll through the the paper to see like, are we nominated? But you had to. Have, yeah. Did you have a good idea after you had so many acting nominations? You're like, ooh, we got a shot. Well. To be honest, go, go ahead, Char. No, go ahead, Claire. <laughs> As I say, to be honest, since it's our first nomination, we really didn't know what to expect because you, <laughs> you kind of don't know how this stuff works. And so, uh, yeah, we were thrilled to see that all the all of our actors here were being nominated for the first time, but we weren't sure if it was going to be the same for us. And we were very thrilled to find out that we were. <laughs> yeah. You know, this show, what a last couple of years it's been. It, it's sort of a renaissance of Asian American stories and characters, films and TV shows coming out and having so much success. And we can go back to Crazy Rich Asians. And then, of course, Everything Everywhere All at Once just steamrolled the Oscars and Joyride just came out. And then Beef was part of this. Beef is part of it. And what has it been like to just see the progress of Hollywood and what audiences really want and gravitate to? I mean, these are huge success stories. Yeah, I, I mean, I think it, it's truly been so refreshing to to see. Um, obviously, uh, Crazy Rich Asians was like widely successful, but to kind of see the range of of different stories that have come out after that, um, from uh, Beef to even Joyride, which came out re recently, to I know Shortcomings is coming out. Um, this week as well, just to kind of see the wide range of, of content. Um, and yeah, or something like past lives that just came out. It's just, yes. it, it, I think it kind of proves the fact that like, I think people have been saying for a while that there's room for more storytelling and more types of characters, and more types of people that come from all walks of life. And I, I feel like these uh, projects that do that well, just prove that. Well, let's talk about casting beef. I want to start with Ellie Wong because she's the sort of revelation for me. I've seen her do stand up and she's obviously funny, but she nailed this. And I understand her and Steve came attached. Um, and but what was it like for you two to see, OK, these two are top build. How do we build down from that? What was your thought process going into that pro process? You know, what? specifically, um, we knew we kind of were obviously building around Stephen and Ali and initially focused a lot on um, the, the, the husband character who um, Joseph Lee wound up playing and uh, young Mazzino who played uh, Danny, uh, Stephen Yun's brother. So we kind of knew that was like a starting point um, uh, for chemistry, but very fortunately, even though we were in the middle of, of COVID, we were able to do um, a lot of callbacks on Zoom and, and a few in person and having Stephen and Allie being able to, to read with them was instrumental in, in making sure we got the right pieces for those roles. Yeah, but Dinton, one of the things that we kind of went in it with, um, in addition to what she's saying about getting that chemistry is so important. We were also weaving that in with the, the story that Sonny is telling, because it's not just the two of them that are the only elements that you're building around. It's the world as a whole. You know, it's it's the tone, it's the voice, it's working with Jake Shire and, and Hikari as directors. You kind of have to build all that all that together. And you've got two supporting actors nominated as well. I mean, Ali and Steven were both nominated. Uh, we have Young Mazzino and Joseph Lee, two totally different characters, equally deserving <laughs> of recognition. Now, young Mazzino is so charming. He's got sort of this innocence to him. This was a breakout. Uh, what did you see in him that that made you say, all right, this is Paul. We we got to have this guy. I am speaking to what um, we kind of touched upon earlier with the, the chemistry reads. Um, what's so interesting about uh, those two characters and, and specifically with Paul is his 
chemistry with Danny Stevens' character obviously matters quite a bit because they're they're brothers. But in addition, as if you've seen the show, uh, you you find out the chemistry with Allie's character Amy also matters quite a bit. Um, so it was it was really cool to kind of see that transpire and 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 how and I think that was like a huge part of what made in seeing those two di very different type types of chemistries you were kind of able to see like glimpses of what what uh, he brought to screen and something that Joseph and uh, Young had in common even though their characters are wildly different um, I do think on the page Paul Young's character could be written off as you know kind of this idiot gamer kid um yeah. but young brought this this like you said innocence and this heart to it that you you kind of were cheering for him even though he made some choices that you were like you shouldn't have said that and the same thing with joseph's character where george could have been written off as this kind of toxically positive character that doesn't listen to her but in in casting joseph we wanted to show the nuance of someone who really is earnestly trying his best and just earnestly does not get ali's character amy so so finding kind of those nuances and the complexities of the characters so that they're not um so easily dismissed they're not just a villain they're not just um a, a, like paul's characters doesn't just hang on it's, it's really someone that you grow to root for and and want them to succeed just as much as danny and, and amy's characters and Joseph is sort of this, like the straight man of this show. I mean, that's not always easy to be, you know, the the one without the crazy antics surrounding them. So, I mean, he really holds down that role really well. <laughs> that was one of the longer roles uh, for us to yeah. find. It was it required a, an incredible amount of nuance, and we were thrilled to have Joseph uh, join. And I think the other thing that was uniquely interesting and challenging is when you first start you only have the pilot script to go off of but then as you read more you kind of see how each character evolves and that kind of shapes how you approach um the casting process as well um and that was very much the case like with with those two characters and um Joseph's character was particularly challenging because I think a lot of those layers unfolded as you read more and more and got deeper into the story and how his relationship with with Amy kind of shifts and, and evolves as the story progresses. And then there's the Emmy nominated actress, Maria Bello. I mean, what a character <laughs> for her to sink her teeth into. Here's a veteran actress who's been doing this for decades and she just gets to play a total nut i mean when you read a character like this does your brain just start flooding with actresses you've seen over the years and how do you ultimately land on maria bello <laughs> those original lists were very long and very hard to pare down because there's a lot of fantastic actresses <laughs> that we wanted to explore um but when you start it's kind of the same as these other characters when you start getting into the nuances of the characters and the fact that like we wanted Jordan to have kind of like a Midwestern grit. Like you you knew that she knew maybe suburban white middle America, but, and 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 is now in this kind of like super elite rich world. And she needed to be able to navigate, navigate those worlds really well, but then obviously kind of have a slight tone deafness towards other worlds. <laughs> um, and just being able to play all of those uh, different colors was just something we were very excited to have Maria come on board to do. <laughs> What has it been like to see all these actors get this, these nominations? I mean, does that just, on top of your own nomination and then the series is nominated, when you reflect back on being part of this show that's become this phenomenon and huge success, I mean, what is what are you feeling? We were it's... really so excited about the the actors being nominated as well as the rest of the, the crew as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, having, especially having new new faces be able to have that opportunity and to, to get the recogni recognition they very much deserve, it was super exciting for, for us. Yeah. And you're part of their discovery story now. I mean, they'll always, they'll always have that moment, young Mazzino and uh, Joseph Lee, it's just incredible. Yeah, it's, it's really wonderful to be, to, be a part of that it's a a little kind of like wendy was saying you you 
it's a bit of a gamble, right? Like you hope and you think that things are going to align and work out. And so when it actually does, and then whenever other people are able to see what you see, that's it, it feels incredibly rewarding. Well, what a fun, incredible show that you've put together and congratulations on the cast. Congratulations on your nomination and best of luck at the upcoming Emmy Awards. Thank, Thank you very so much. much.